Hello and welcome to Point of View. In today's video, I'm going to unpack the sensational new development in the Mars Sample Return Program, a joint venture between NASA, European Space Agency and a couple of private players. Right now, some 182 million miles separate the intriguing red clay of planet Mars and our home Earth. But groundbreaking flight hardware developed at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama will soon close that distance. The new hardware is an integral component of the Mars Sample Return Campaign, a historic endeavor that will, for the first time, retrieve and deliver samples of that faraway alien terrain for intensive study in laboratories on Earth. Say hello to the Mars Ascent Vehicle MAV, set to be the first rocket ever to launch from the surface of another planet, that is Mars. The Mars Ascent Vehicle will play a key role in the Mars Sample Return mission. It will launch from the surface of Mars into orbit around the red planet, carrying the samples gathered by the Perseverance rover from the ancient crater floor it's now exploring. While in orbit, these samples will be transferred from Mars Ascent Vehicle to ESA's Earth Return Orbiter. NASA's Marshall team is preparing with private player Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman to build the Ascent Vehicle and its propulsion system. The multi-mission Mars Sample Return campaign began when NASA's Perseverance rover landed on Mars in February 2020 to collect Martian rock samples in search of ancient microscopic life. Out of Perseverance 43 sample tubes, four have been filled with rock cores and one with Martian atmosphere. Mars Sample Return seeks to bring select tubes back to Earth, where generations of scientists will be able to study them with powerful lab equipment far too large to send to Mars. If you're buzzing with anticipation of the arrival of Mars samples, you had better be prepared for a long wait. Getting those samples back to Earth would take a decade and multiple missions involving European partners and NASA. Each partner has a specific and significant role to play in different components of the larger sample return mission. The European Space Agency is developing a rover for the effort called Sample Fetch Rover. Engineers at NASA's Glenn Research Center in Cleveland, Ohio are designing this rover's wheels. The rover would transfer samples to a lander called Sample Return Lander which is being developed at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California. The lander would use a robotic arm developed by ESA to pack the samples into a small rocket called a Mars Ascent Vehicle being designed by NASA. So now that we know the various hardware components of the mission, let's look at how they will work in conjunction. The Mars Sample Return Campaign will need three launches from Earth to accomplish landing, collecting, storing and finding samples and delivering them back to Earth. A NASA launch mission will send the Sample Return Lander mission to land a platform near the Mars 2020 site. From here, a small ESA rover, the Sample Fetch rover, will head out to retrieve the sample tubes. Once it has collected them, it will return to the lander platform and load them into a single large canister on the Mars Ascent vehicle. The vehicle will perform the first liftoff from Mars and carry the container into Mars orbit. ESA's Earth Return Orbiter is the final part of the Mars Sample Return mission. The orbiter is programmed to capture the basketball-sized sample container orbiting Mars. The samples will be sealed in a biocontainment system to prevent contaminating Earth with unsterilized material before being moved into an Earth entry capsule. 
The spacecraft will then return to Earth, where it will release the entry capsule for the samples to end up in a specialized handling facility. Studying Mars samples on Earth will allow scientists to share resources and send samples to the best laboratories around the world for analysis. Laboratories so complicated and heavy, they would be impossible to take to Mars. The samples collected by Perseverance during its exploration of an ancient river delta are thought to present the best opportunity to reveal the early evolution of Mars, including the potential for life. The Mars Ascent Vehicle will play a key role in the Mars Sample Return mission. The program's success may well unlock a whole new chapter in the human quest for extraterrestrial life. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.